Hey all, Tony Bing here, hello and welcome to another new player guide video for Marvel Strike Force. Now, in the last few videos we've done, we've been talking about all the things that you're wanting to do in the game, and despite that, the most popular video I've done so far for Marvel Strike Force has actually been the number one thing that you don't want to do. Now, from playing the game a bit more, I've actually discovered another thing that's quite important that you don't want to do, so this will be the number one thing not to do part two. So when you're playing the game then and you're gaining gold and you're also gaining levels, the first impulse is always to level up your heroes as quick as you actually can. If you do that, it does mean when you come to the likes of battlegrounds, if you've got a wider roster and a leveled mode, you'll be getting a bit more score on that. Now the one downside, and this is a downside that I would say is much larger than gaining a few extra points in Battleground, is the fact that you have dailies and milestones actually require you to level up heroes. So what you don't want to do is use all your gold as soon as you get it and get to a point where you actually don't have any other heroes to level up because then you'll be blocked. Now what it would block you from in the first instance is there's a daily called training up and with this you need to level up a hero. You only have to do it once. If you block yourself from that individual daily it wouldn't seem too bad but you need to bear in mind that there's an extra daily achievement for finishing all of them so you're blocking yourself out of a lot there. The second one is to do with milestones and there's actually two milestones at the moment that are tied around essentially levelling up your characters. The first one is when you spend training modules to level up a character and the second one is when you have to spend a set amount of gold and by far the easiest way to actually spend gold is to level up a hero. You can do it by ranking up a hero but it can sometimes take a bit of time to rank up heroes especially when you're going higher up the ranks and it's taking 200 or even 300 shards to level up your hero. So my recommendation is when you get the gold, you get the ability to level up heroes that aren't part of your core group is hold off wait for the milestones when it comes to them level up just enough so you can actually complete the milestone and when it comes to the daily if there's not a milestone active then i would actually just level up an individual character once one that you are of course working on for future so as always i hope this hints and tips video has been useful it's just a little quick one tonight there'll be lots more coming on the channel so if you're not yet subscribed please feel free to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all again soon